In this video I'm going to show you how to download a reference from the online journal IEEE Explore. Uh, if those students are studying computer science, electrical and electronic engineering and so on and so forth. This is an excellent journal to download those particular areas. So as I said I'm inside in the online CIT library. If I click on the if I go to log on over here, let's press log on and again you might be asked to enter your details so just enter your student number and password and here we are inside in the website so what one would do is just simply type in the keyword search now in this instance I'm going to type in shall we say a key a research area of the topic of Internet of Things so if I type in that and if I simply go over and press the search button so here I have a list of results in regards to my query Internet of Things and again I have to stress again the query is in relation to my particular area here but you might have different queries based on the different assignments that you would have so I go down here I choose various research papers based on what I feel would be of interest to my studies and I go down to the end do a little brief, brief review of the abstract and if I am happy with that citation and I feel it is important to my work I simply press download citation and in this instance it's going to be EndNote I press download and again I save it in my journal for this particular topic I then go to my on online my EndNote so here I am in my EndNote and it's the same principle again collect import choose the file option in this instance is download citations it doesn't actually tell you it's IEEE but you can change this yourself when you download it and then I choose as always science direct and I'm going to create a new group I'm going to call the new group IOT assignment. That's OK. And here we have one reference saved to that particular group. If I click on references. And if I scroll down here, if I click on my group IOT, and here we have the reference imported from the IEEE journal. So that's the end of this video tutorial and as always thank you for watching.